Cheers. Cheers. Okay, I'm about to get dressed. I'm going to go to the Asian market get some jackfruit and stuff because I saw this YouTube video though and they were making vegan drumsticks out of jackfruit and rice paper for the skin. So I definitely want to give that a try. Hey, Dad. Hi. Hey, Bippin. Good to know. How's the sauce, Mom? It's called pot liquor. How is it? Delicious. What's in it? Pot liquor. Cotton rice. You got neck bone in it? <laughs> Just a little piece. Ew, you're so nasty. <laughs> Just that part of the neck. Ew! <laughs> I'm about to make this. I never tried it. Trader Joe's cinnamon crumb coffee cake. Mix. Oh, I've seen that before. Did you ever try it? Nope. I'm about to try it right now. <laughs> okay, so I went to the Asian market and I was looking for the vegan drumsticks that I got last time. I'll post the link up above because I made them before and they didn't have it. So, being that I do want that, I'm going to try and make a vegan drumstick here so i got some young green jackfruit this is going to be the meaty texture i was watching a video by um the edgy veg and she had made vegan drumsticks at home so i'm going to try that recipe and see how it turns out so i shredded up four 20 ounce cans of jackfruit and i removed the stems and the hearts as many as i could and i got jackfruit in brine because i couldn't find it in water so i cleaned it off really good to some liquid smoke and some round rice paper the seasonings i'm using hot chicken cubes some tapioca starch and some silken tofu Okay, so I'm pouring three cups of hot boiling water into a measuring cup, and now I'm gonna add two cubes of not chicken broth. You can add this directly to a saucepan as well, because I'm just gonna pour it into the saucepan anyway. And now I'm adding my seasonings, which consist of nutritional yeast, liquid smoke, onion powder, and poultry seasoning. And I'm adding all of the shredded jackfruit into the saucepan, and you're supposed to let this cook for 10 minutes and then cover it and let it simmer for another 10 minutes until the broth absorbs into the jackfruit but for some reason that did not happen i let it cook for way longer than it was supposed to and it just did not absorb into the jackfruit so i ended up draining all of the broth out of the jackfruit out of the saucepan and i just added the seasoning directly to the jackfruit and i still think it came out pretty good it tasted really good i think it tasted how it was meant to taste and it still had the broth flavor to it because it's been sitting in it for so long now i'm adding the silken tofu and tapioca starch and it's still going to form a mixture just to hold the jackfruit together better to make it more meaty like and not so loose so now i have some warm water that i put in a pan and i put my rice paper in there and the instructions say to take it out before it gets super sticky so like when it's about to get super sticky but not quite so kind of in the middle if you know what i mean so yeah i'm using some popsicle sticks as the bone and i place some of the jackfruit on the rice paper and then i put the popsicle stick in the middle and more jackfruit on top of the popsicle stick in her video she used bamboo spoons and those will probably hold way better than <laughs> these popsicle sticks did. So I'm now cutting the rice paper. And this is, this can be kind of challenging. I have used rice paper as skin before in another recipe. And it takes some getting used to because it's so delicate and easy to break. So you have to be really gentle when you're doing this part. And just try to wrap it around as best as you can to form a drumstick. Now you don't have to add a fake bone to this, but if you do, you can also just wrap it and then stick it in the bottom after it's wrapped. It'll probably go in easier and hold better. But I didn't do it to all of them. Some of them are just boneless jackfruit drumsticks. For the sauce, I'm using equal parts Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce and red hot hot sauce, which is also what she used in the video. And I found this chicken dry rub lying around in the pantry and there's no real chicken in it so I'm going to use this to season it. I also found a less messy way to 
add the barbecue sauce onto the drumsticks because using my hands is very messy. But I later on found my barbecue brush. So I added these to the air fryer. I believe at 375 for 10 minutes, but I had to leave them on longer to get them to be more crispy. And then I added more sauce once I took them out the air fryer. First of all, I just want to say how amazing these look. Let's just talk about that. These actually look like chicken drumsticks or chicken breasts, whatever. It looks like chicken, regardless of what it tastes like. It's very pleasant for the eye. So my mom made some vegan spaghetti with some garden meatballs. So that's what I'm going to eat with the barbecue chicken. Not my normal pair, but might as well eat it. I ain't complaining. And we topped it with some vegan parm. So I'm gonna try the chicken. The jackfruit is a little soft. I don't know because if it was overcooked a little bit. Got some sweet bread. Okay, so now I'm going to give you my review. I put the second batch in the deep fryer, the air fryer, for about 15 minutes at 400 degrees. Need to be more crispy. There you go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Saucy. So the skin, rice paper for skin, goes really well as a chicken skin because it's very similar. I think the recipe is really good, but um. If I were to make these again, I would probably add some seitan to it to make it more meaty because the jackfruit is very light. It's not as hearty as actual meat. If you ever had jackfruit, you know what I'm talking about. Because I've had jackfruit before, like the pulled pork barbecue type jackfruit. So, um, it isn't bad if you want, you know, that taste of chicken. It's not exactly like, exactly like it, but still pretty good um I don't know why my broth wasn't absorbing into the jackfruit I cooked it longer than the instructions set to so that's why I just ended up throwing the seasonings in there it's kind of soft I don't know if I overstuffed it I think it's a recipe that you need to like practice getting right if you know what I mean because it's really not a beginner's recipe, <laughs> if you understand what I'm trying to say. But it tastes good. Went well with my spaghetti. Like I said, if I were to make these again, I'll add seitan to it. So this was the Trader Joe's crumb cake. I yeah. made it. She didn't make it. And so instead of the egg, we use egg replacer. Bep. Bebs. Bob's Red Mills, I think it's called. So yeah, this is it. Crumb cake. I'm gonna split it in half. Cheers. Cheers. Okay. Me too. It's so doughy. Mhm. Mm it's very moist in the middle, like the cake part, and then you get that crunchiness from the crumb. The last crumb cake I had was, um, what was it? Was it Little Debbie's? I don't know. I did that. But it came inside the package, the two little crumb cakes. Mm hmm Those are really good. Those are the last crumb cakes I remember having. Well, this is good. I like it. Actually better than that. Yeah. I told y'all I made it, right? <laughs> mm. Very moist.
was so good. Yeah. Okay, so those are the things that I tried today. Being a Devil Dead, winner. Um, jackfruit drumsticks, winner. Although I do think that if I were to do it again and get more experience with making stuff like that, it would be better. I'm sure that the original recipe came out better than mine, but it was still pretty good. Did you like it? Yeah. It was really good. Yeah, so, yeah, that's it. If you liked this video, I appreciate it. If you gave me a thumbs up, and I also appreciate it if you like, comment, and subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram or on Twitter at Nanam to Fitness. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. -bye. Don't thumbs down. <laughs> yeah, don't thumbs down. If you do, <laughs> I'm not putting that in the video. So many questions that I